Welcome back to breaking an absurdly unrealistic amount of bones until my body is literally just, just microscopic powder. It's broken bones. Everybody, I am Kyle Lakeed and welcome back to Roblox. As you can see, I am tumbling down a mountain and and breaking, I don't know, like quin quinjillion bones. I, I don't even know the numbers anymore. They don't really make sense. People have attempted to explain to me how these numbers work in, in the comments section, and I still don't really understand, to be honest. My basic understanding of, of this is that it's like 23 with with this many zeros plus this number but i still don't understand why there's a decimal in there and the letter e it's all very confusing even the game is confused and actually with that in mind uh, someone who actually develops games in roblox explained to me kind of why um, we're not progressing on the leaderboards anymore. Um, essentially, we, we've ascended too far. We've gone too far with how many bones we break. Now, I am by no means a developer of video games, so I don't understand this stuff. But the way it was explained to me is uh, Roblox is a 64-bit game, and there are integer limits within that 64-bit limitation. So all the databases for stuff like leaderboards and scores and things like that in Roblox games are limited to that 64-bit requirement. But these numbers, <laughs> oh boy, uh, these numbers that we are generating when, when we break our bones um, are well beyond those limits. The, the game doesn't understand what's happening. So quite literally, um, we've broken the game. So even though the numbers that we are acquiring in this game are truly absurd, and they're very big numbers, the game doesn't really know what they mean. So if we go into the leaderboards, as you can see, I'm not there. So I'm like rank zero, sort of. Not really, but it makes me feel better. And I actually confirmed with Laser Beam. So, so this is Laser Beam, sellout streamer, by the way. You guys know him, you guys love him. Everybody does. And I asked him, like, what is your break level in Broken Bones? He confirmed, break level, 2,000. Excuse me? I have 1,700 more break levels than the legendary sellout streamer, by the way, yet. His standing on the leaderboard is higher than mine. And so that kind of goes to show that unless there was some way for me to undo the upgrades that I've given my character, there's really no way for me to get on the proper leaderboard, which is a little upsetting. However, that said, I did find that if you go into the game passes, as you can see, I purchased all of them. I was wondering like maybe if you disable like infinite breaks, Maybe that will do something. I don't know. We're trying everything at this point. Infinite dislocations. Let's not have infinite dislocations. And let's see what happens. Here we go. I, I really, I, I mean, I guess it'll just stop. Well, actually, this is interesting. Um, The numbers are, are way less insane, which is kind of good, I think. I don't really know. Look at that. It's a it's a normal amount of broken bones. Normal, you know, two million broken bones instead of 23 quadrillion, trillion, billion, billion words that don't really exist. This is a number that I can actually read. It doesn't have a letter in it. It doesn't have a plus sign in it or an extra decimal in front of a comma. That's five million. I can do that. My brain understands that. So I don't know if this is a good or bad thing because let's be honest, six million is not enough to get you on the leaderboard. I think like at bare minimum, you need like nine quadrillion or, or something around that. 
I think? <laughs> I don't really remember, because there's a lot of commas. Once you get past a trillion, basically numbers have no meaning, right? Like, they just... Like, who cares? But I mean, look at that. That That is like a normal level of bone breakage. Now, what's probably happening here is that like all of our stats have been restricted to like the the max level that you can normally get using in-game currency, right? Because remember, I think beyond 500, you can't get upgrades anymore unless you spend your Robux. So it might just be that like all of our levels have been restricted to 500, which kind of bums me out now that I turned off that infinite thing. Let's see what happens if we enable dislocations, but keep infinite breaks disabled. Has my leaderboard standing changed at all? No. 24th. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know which one of these is sprains. Okay, I know which one of those is sprains now. <laughs> it's this one. It's, that's, uh, yeah, okay. But that's really weird. Um, my, my bone breaking is completely stuck. It's stuck at 206. How many bones does a adult human body have? While we enjoy watching me tumble down this hill, I'm gonna Google it. The adult human body has 206 bones, straight up. Okay, that is really interesting. I don't know why enabling infinite sprains limited the amount of bones that we can break. That's weird, but kind of cool. So why don't we do the opposite and disable infinite dislocations, but enable infinite breaks? Something tells me that this isn't gonna work the way that I expect it to, but we're experimenting at this point. Here we go. How many bones will I break? <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, that many bones. The three comma dot seven zero plus 20 jillion. Yeah, it, we're back to that weirdness. And you might notice that uh, the number underneath it is going up pretty fast too. It kind of feels like the sprains are not being limited unless maybe sprains are the number underneath that number that's at like 400. Completely and utterly confused, all of us. You, me, the game, Roblox. Roblox employs people at Roblox right now. They're on their computers going, what's happening in Broken Bones 4? I can't make sense of this. Dudes calling over their managers. Boss, you gotta see this. Numbers we've never even known existed are showing up in Roblox Broken Bones. Is this the secret to human life? No, it, I, it's just a weird number. Well, now that we're just thoroughly confused, uh, let's dive headfirst into this confusion. I'm gonna re-enable everything. Why are you disabled? Infinite dislocations, I'm very confused. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. If it's red, it means that it's on. Maybe I have it all mixed up. Maybe I have it all backwards. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Is there anything else here that you think could affect the numbers that we're getting? I don't think so. And I certainly don't need the super daily bonus. I mean, I have infinite cash. It's endless. So that experiment clearly did not work. So when all else fails, spend Robux. That's what I've always said. Don't do that for the record. But if you do ever purchase Robux, you know you guys can use star code KEYIN. K-E-Y-I-N, use it at checkout. It's completely free and you directly support the channel. Thank you for your support. Now, let's purchase 100 more breaks levels for only 4,000 Robux. I have spent so much money in this game and I can't stop. It's a problem. Let's see what happens at 3,800 breaks level. I kind of already know. It's just gonna be a really weird, crazy number. <laughs> it is. Uh, remember last time, uh, we got this number to, to 23. That was kind of like a stretch goal for us. We wanted to change the 21 to a 22 and then get that 22 to a 23. It, look at that. The 21 is already a 22. What if we could get the 23 to a 24? I know, that's that's kind of crazy talk. I almost feel bad just saying that out loud, but here we are. Now, of course, remember, uh, we have some, some cool abilities over here. Now, you guys were reminding me 
that there's a special ability, I, I forget the name of it, but it only pops up when you use certain abilities together or like you knock yourself out or I don't really know. You'd think as someone who spent this much Robux in a game, I'd be an expert. I'm not. I just fall down mountains and break lots and lots of bones. Just making those numbers go up real, real crazy like. So I don't see a huge difference between 3,700 breaks level and 3,800 breaks level. But I don't really know what a big difference would look like, to be honest. I mean, if we got this number, the 22 part, up to, you know, 50 or something like that, then I'd be like, okay, that that makes sense. That's this is a bigger number than 22, but it's not really changing all that much. And I mean, let's be honest, I could do this probably forever. I could just keep this going on forever. And it's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. There's something strangely therapeutic about, about this game. And here we are. We've ended our run. I've let go of the mouse and keyboard. I've accepted my fate. And uh, yeah. So clearly our highest record up to this point was, was a 23. Uh, this number here, this has no meaning to me because this changes so quickly. But this number, this is a number that we can actually look at. So yeah, should we try to get to 24? I, I guess. Maybe 24 is the magical number that will put our name on the leaderboard. I doubt it, but you never know. You never know. And the best way to do that is to spend more Robux again. Let's take it to 4,000. Well, there you go. Breaks level 4,000. Can we confirm if anybody on this planet has a higher breaks level? Can we get a hold of Guinness here and, and just try to verify this information? Because I feel pretty strongly that uh, no one has been dumb enough to spend this much Robux in Broken Bones 4. I take pride in that. All right, here we go. The, the dream run. This is it. Let's see what happens. Okay, right off the bat, we're at 22. That seems good. 23! Let's go. Oh, we're making history today. Oh, it's happening. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so when things get weird like that, like when the colors get all crazy, I think that you get an extra ability. I'm trying to trigger it again, but I, I can't seem to, to get it to work. I'm not smashing into the wall of this cliff hard enough. So bad. Oh, okay. That, that, yep, that's great. Still at 23. Although I will say, like, every once in a while, you notice the number, it like, it changes to a completely different format. <laughs> it's like totally different. I think it had a negative in there, like a minus symbol. I don't, I don't know anything. Okay, so I'm gonna let this run kind of just, just end. Oh, 24, look at that. Okay, so it's clear to us that spending, you know, around 12,000 Robux um, did pay off. We changed that 23 to a 24, but hear me out. What if we could change that 24 to a 25? I'm just saying, it might sound like crazy talk, but I think it could be done. There you go, there's our record of breaks. Um, let's go over to the leaderboard and just cry about how, uh, it, wait, no, still 24th. I saw my name when I brought up the leaderboard and I was like, we did it? No, I was scrolled down. We did not do it. I do feel like we've moved up on the averages, but I, I don't really know. Records, I mean, fourth, I'll take that. I still don't know what records means, but maybe somehow we can make our way higher up on the records leaderboard. I, I don't know. I have to stop looking at the leaderboard. It's only going to make me sad. Now, I was browsing through the menus here, and we already own these game passes, right? So we have the infinite breaks, we have the infinite dislocations. Those are the ones that really matter. However, there are time-limited power-ups that you can purchase. I'm wondering if, like, these will stack on top of the perks that I already have. I don't really know, but for 25 Robux, the amount of Robux that I've spent already, uh, why don't we try? For just 10 minutes, we'll get two times broken bones, we'll get infinite breaks, and times five gravity. Sure, we get a huge breaks per minute increase. B 
BPM. So let's see if that has any kind of impact on what we're doing. And I think I'm gonna go down the tube section. Oh, okay. I I think that we're we're seeing some results. I think I think yeah, maybe. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and oh 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 there's do that. What is that? I don't know. Mitosis. And then do the obliterate thing. It, we're at 24. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, I don't know what's happening on the screen right now. And if you know what's happening on the screen right now, you can see things that no human has ever seen before. Because this is just an absolute mess. Uh, what was that? I don't really know, but look at that. The 23 has become a 24. And that's a win in my book. Now, are we getting times two broken bones in addition to like the infinite broken bones on top of even more infinite? Oh, we got a time flip. We got to go back. Okay, yeah, don't don't fall out of the world. That's one of the greatest enemies that you could face in broken bones. <laughs> it's just flying out of the world. I will say the times five gravity effect is is very apparent. Like we're falling way faster than I'm used to. Which is kind of cool. But we did use, like, all of our really cool abilities. And, I mean, for what it's worth, I, I think it worked. No! Oh! No, 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 no! No! Game. Game. No! You threw me out! I couldn't click on revert fast enough. But you're probably seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah. That's a 25. Does it mean anything on the leaderboard? Most likely, absolutely not. Still firmly in 24th place under totals. Fourth in records and sixth in averages. I think we just need to accept our fate here and accept that we've gone too far. <laughs> I think it's what it boils down to. We've ascended to a level that that just that just cannot be understood or fathomed in any way whatsoever. And and this is our our punishment. I, I don't know if this is really punishment. I'm still having a great time. But it's safe to say that I'm confused, the game is confused, and I hope that you guys are confused too. See you next time.